All right, got another test drive up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee today. This is a 1986 IROC Camaro. This one came back to 5.0, but they took off the fuel injection and they put a carburetor on. The good thing is it's all in the trunk. So everything they took off, they left with the car. This one's got power steering, also power brakes. We're gonna be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this channel. That helps me out quite a bit and I keep making these videos. Towards the end of the video, we'll show you everything on the car inside and out, chips, scratches, whatever there is. You'll know about it. So just sit back and relax because it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? This thing's actually in pretty good shape got a dash pad on it because it's got cracks underneath it that sounds pretty good just a few cracks down the middle there back seat on this one looks good on both sides headliner nice and clean Place those bets on the horn. We're getting ready to try it out. She's still cold right now. And of course, everything's unplugged, so you're going to have a service engine light on. It'll be hard to get rid of until you put everything back. Still calling. Wipers work. Looks like the compressor is kicking on on this one. Where is it blowing from? Blowing from the dash up here. We'll give her a second, see what happens. Radio. I hear it, but it's quiet. Let's see. Windows. Purple tint. That's an old tent there. Seems like it's idled up a bit high. We'll sit around for a second, let the engine temperature get up and see if this thing will uh, idle down. If not, I'll idle it down myself. Orange, you place your bets. Man, I would have bet that did work. Let's hit the road and see how she runs the drive. Okay, getting ready to take off here. Seatbelt comes right up on your neck there, so I'm trying to get it to stretch out a little bit, honestly. There it goes. All right. We're going to roll. I had to turn the idle down just a hair. They had it up too high. But it sounds a lot better now. Full pressure gauge is broke on this one. Gas gauge. It's showing below a quarter tank, so we're going straight to the gas station. And yes, I got the windows up, and it's 100 degrees outside. I'm doing that so you don't have a bunch of crazy wind noise. Slow it down there. All right. Let's roll.
All right, $30 worth of fuel in this ride. We had below a quarter tank, and now we're going to check that out. So far, so good. Put the gas in over here on the driver's rear. The door. Now we got both windows open. It's feeling breezy out here. Sweet. So there goes that gas gauge just climbing away. It is working. Let's take off. Okay, getting ready to head back to the lot now. I would 100% get that strap that goes on the end of this. It's locked in there good. To keep it off of your neck, that's no fun. So far, it actually runs and drives really good. I went ahead and did the walk around over here in the parking lot, picking out chip scratches and flaws, and it didn't have too many it does have a lower cost paint job on it right now, but it looks like it's been done more recent. Suspension's pretty smooth.
got going on up here? Road work. Taking the road up. All right, looks like we're stuck here for a little bit. So we're right around the corner from the car lot, really. We gotta go down the road. I'll kick back in here in just a second once all this passes over. Be right back, guys. Okay, finally made it through that. I had to sit there for about 15 minutes. All right, let's roll. again feel pretty good Another red light here. Next up, picking out the flaws. So far, so good. Engine temperature sitting right at 180. The oil pressure gauge is broke on this one, but as far as running and driving, it seems uh, like a nice cruiser. It is a very loud exhaust. Other than that, here it comes, picking out the flaws. All right, getting ready to walk around this ride, picking out the flaws, anything I see you'll know about. Detailed pictures, maplemotors.com, financing and shipping, also on that website. And of course, every Monday we put on about 10 new rides. Like I said, they pulled everything off and they put everything in the trunk back here to keep it with the car. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. Coming up on the front end, Paint job on this one's more of a flat, cheaper paint job. Coming around the front, you got chips, a few little bug marks. A lot of that stuff probably come off. You scrubbed on it hard enough. You see some light scratches in the bumper there. Missing the marker lights. down this side marker lights missing on this side too back your midsection Chips on the edge of the door there. Spot on top here. Edge of the window's got old glass. Thing here. 
see all the cracking going on the rubber between the window seal here it's okay up in the corner there's kind of crumbly seal around the top is in good shape Got a bunch of light dings. Really, really subtle. Can barely see them there. On the back here, got some cracking in the paint there. Seal around the uh, hatch here is in pretty good shape. Got some speakers down in here. You got some sh stripe kit. Looks like it's new. Back window tent is gone, needs to be replaced. A little crustiness popping up right there on the hatch. Went on down with it. It's got good shocks there. They're stiff. And it's pulling it down. Good deal. Sticking out a little bit on this side. your emblem paints coming off on that door handle Couple little spots popping up here. Up your pillar. spot there I think that's gonna come off made it around the ride let's check out the inside door panel on this one's actually in pretty good shape where's the locks work doesn't look like the power locks work on this one. Still soft, a little crumbly up here on top. Looking around the back here. spot in the corner here open your headliner too bad give her a little gas Oil pressure gauges broke on this one. Tax working good, engine temperature seems to be correct.
The AC never got cold. It's not hooked up. down with this shocks feel good and it locks good you watching if you're new to the channel hit subscribe share this video that helps me out quite a bit maplemotors.com has finance and shipping detailed pictures and of course every monday we put out new rides we'll update that website every monday at 11. again thank you for watching see you in the next one